Okay, so um, here, let me play that. Okay, so welcome again to Drawing Maps uh, in Comics. I'm Margaret Kimball. Um, oh, hold on, there we go. Um, and I'm an illustrator and a writer, and uh, my first graphic memoir is coming out this April from HarperCollins. Um, and actually, I think um, the Believer team might be chatting you a link to pre-order, um, which you totally don't have to do. But if you do, I think 10% will go to support the Believer. Um, so that's my big recent project. Um, so tonight, we're going to make a map together. And I'm just going to show you a few maps that I've done just to kind of like get you thinking about maps and give some ideas and stuff like that. Um, this is a map I made for a short story collection for Simon and Schuster of a cute little town. Um, okay, so when I started, when I thought about this workshop, I was kind of like, I love making maps. Everybody loves maps. It'll be so fun to make maps together. And then I'm like, okay, well, maybe <laughs> I should understand more about why maps are so fun and how they can help us understand um, a story. Okay, so first they help you start. So um, I think when you start writing, it's really hard to know like what to write about or how much to write um, or kind of like where to begin. And I think a map, so when I start writing kind of before I do anything, I draw a map often because I wanna see the space I'm working in. And so the other thing that kind of happens when you do that is you start to see like what's important. So for example, this is a map for my book and I drew my house and like the town I grew up in and the street I grew up in, my cousin's house, the church where I went to nursery school, the library, the hospital. So all these places started becoming really strong in my mind. And I was like, oh, okay. So these are the scenes that need to appear in my story. So I think like a map can be a really great starting point and help you kind of like get going on your, on your story. But also they can help you get unstuck. So like if you're in the middle of writing a story and you're kind of like not sure where to go next or like what scene comes next or what to talk about next, I think they can be a really good tool to kind of help you understand more about the world your characters are living in. So for instance, it's like, you know, you can think about where does your character live? Like who are her neighbors? Um, what exists in the world around her? Like what kind of land features are there? Stuff like that. And so I think the map can also help, even if you don't end up using it, can just help you kind of get out of that stuckness. Um, and this again is a map for my book that where I just wanted to like, I couldn't tell like what else I needed. This is like one of my childhood houses and I wanted to figure out like, what else do I need to describe in the house? And so I just drew a map of it. And then the last thing I'll say is, um, I typically draw maps that are kind of nonfiction because I tend to write nonfiction. Um, tonight we're going to be doing a more fictionalized um, map and this is kind of a fiction map that I made and um, so we're going to have more magical elements to ours but again actually if you guys want to do your own thing you're totally welcome to make your own kind of true maps and this is another nonfiction map I made for Smithsonian um, of Petra Jordan and it just had some really important features of that area. Um, and then I just wanted to share some artists. So I couldn't show the art of these artists um, on here because YouTube would take the video down. But um, these artists just make gorgeous maps. Carson Ellis, Libby Vanderplug, Jordan Sondler, James Gulliver Hancock, Mike Lowry, and Anna Bond. So I totally encourage you to check out their work. Okay, so um, I thought I would give a run through of the steps for the map making activity tonight. Um, and then we'll get started. So the first thing I thought would be fun to do is um, to chat. So to make it more interactive, I thought maybe we could even all make the same general map if you want. Again, you can do whatever you want in here and I'll just give you some like prompts and ideas as we go. But I was thinking if you guys chat suggestions, then I can start drawing them on my map and you guys can use the same name of the town and stuff like that. So that'll be the first step. Then we'll just draw a container for the map like, you know, a rectangle or whatever, write the name of the town, draw a local institution, draw a water feature, draw your character's house, draw three kinds of terrain, so like landscape features, um, draw a historical event or tragedy, draw the home of a local monster or adversary. And again, that if it's, if you wanna do a nonfiction map, you can just 
you know, draw the house of your enemy or, or evil neighbor or something like that. Um, and then at the end, we'll just fill in some details to kind of fill out your map. Okay, so for the first part, if you guys want to participate, if you could chat me some ideas for the name of a town, the name of a local institution, and the name of a water feature. And I'll just give you guys a minute and I'll stop sharing here. If my mouse will work, there we go. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay. <laughs> oh, pandemic bill, that really makes sense. Oh my gosh, these are so great. Okay. Um, oh my word. Okay. I think I'm gonna do <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna write this down. So we'll do the Glumly Village Candle Face. Fountain. I'm just writing this down so I can remember. And so what else do I need? I have a water feature. Oh, an institution. <laughs> oh, I like the Lake of Dream too. I like all of these. Oh, I might have to use more than. I said, goblin wood. Ooh, and a sewage treatment plant. I don't know how to draw that, but I'm gonna try it because I like it. I like kind of weirdly depressing things. Oh, you guys, these are so good. Ooh, library of unwritten books. Yeah, I can relate. Okay, these are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay. So I'm gonna share my iPad. So just also as a heads up, like I typically draw on paper with pencil. So I'm gonna do this on the iPad because I think you'll see it better, but my drawing is gonna be worse. So don't judge. Um, okay, share. Okay. Okay, so, um, and we'll time all of this just to make sure we're like cognizant of everybody's time. Let me get my little timer going here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just draw a container. So that's like a rectangle. I'm gonna make mine super simple. I have a grid up and I'm gonna draw a rectangle, but you guys can do whatever you want. If you want a circle or you know some other fun shape, a triangle, it can literally be anything. It can be like the shape of a house or whatever. Um, so just take like 30 seconds to do that. Okay, so hopefully that is enough time. And then for the second thing we're gonna do is write the name of the town. I'm gonna do the Glumly Village. You guys are totally welcome to do the exact same app. It could be kind of fun if we all do it. I mean, it won't obviously come out the same, but, um, but you're welcome, of course, to do whatever you want. And I like to have like little labels. So I'm gonna, just make like a little kind of label thing here for my map. Let's see if I can fit it correctly. So why don't you just write down the name of your town? I 
I'm a little OCD about these things, so I'm just going to get everything centered. Okay. Okay, so for the second thing, and I have this list that I'm just going to keep popping up here so you guys can see. Okay, so for the second part, let's draw a local institution. So it could be a library, a museum. I'm going to draw the um, sewage treatment plant, which um, is fantastic and weird. Um, so there could, it could be a penitentiary, whatever you want. So let's spend three minutes doing a local institution. So we have a little under a minute left for your institution. Okay, Marky, we have an audience question if that's okay. Oh yeah, We're of course. We're wondering what brush you're using in Procreate. Oh, yes, of course. So I am using under the inking brush library, like. Uh, the dry ink brush, which I love just because it's textured. Um, so yeah, I should have said that. Um, so I'm just using that one. Okay, I didn't label. Let's just take an extra couple seconds because this needs to be labeled. And I feel like there's always some weird gross leak or like man-made leak thing here, sewage treatment plant. So we'll just make a little gross water thing here. Okay, all right, so now for the second thing, so let's do the water feature. Okay, so now let's spend a few minutes um, drawing your water feature. So that can be, I'm gonna draw the candle face fountain, but it could be a lake, a pond, a swamp, a marshland, um, a river, anything. So any kind of water feature you wanna draw, um, draw on your map.
just realized that all my fountain water is going out of the fountain, so I feel like I need to change that. We have about one minute left. All right, let's do the next thing. Okay, so um, next, okay, so let's draw our character's house. So if you're doing a nonfiction map, um, you can do like your own house or somebody's house, you know, or whatever. But um, if you're doing a fictional map, you can just draw your character. And I think I'll just invent a character for this map. And the house doesn't have to be a house, of course. It could be like a hut, an igloo, a cottage, a castle, like whatever kind of fun thing you want to draw. We'll do about one more minute. All right. I'm trying to draw a water tower, but I mean, 
hold on. I wonder what they look like at this very moment. Um, okay. So for the next thing, let's do um, three kinds of terrain. So sorry, it's a little blurry. Okay. So um, three kinds of terrains. So we'll have five minutes to do this and you can draw um, anything you want. So I think of it as like a mountain range, a forest, a desert, a ravine, like any kind of landscape feature that um, is good for your, for your town. So we'll do that for five minutes. Hey, Margie, we have another question. So Daisy is wondering yeah. if, um, if this is sort of like the concept by which you usually approach maps, like, are you, is this sort of just like a, like a concept you've come up with, or are you referencing like historical maps or like how other illustrators, um, work like these specific elements in a map? Oh, well, um, so in terms of the specific elements and how I'm drawing them, like, I've just looked at lots of um, old maps and I guess kind of developed like an iconography over time. So um, I would say just lots of practice with that. But in terms of like the map itself, um, it just helps me when I'm starting to write a story and it just feels so big. And I'm like, what do I write about? Sometimes I'll just draw a map and say like, okay, it took place in this town. So this is the only town <laughs> where my story can be. And this is the house that I lived in at the time. So this is the house I'm gonna draw. And this is the street I lived on. And like, what else was important to me at that time? So I think like the idea of drawing, using a map is like, it just helps kind of ground me in place. I don't know if that answers the question, but that's kind of like my approach to making a map. But feel free to ask more questions if that doesn't totally answer it. And Phyllis is wondering if you're drawing freehand or if you're using a straight edge right now. I'm drawing freehand right now. Um, but I mean, that said, I have a grid on my um, program here, so um, I'm cheating a little.
Um, so we have like a little under a minute left and I have fallen behind. So maybe we'll take just an extra like, I don't know, 30 seconds. All right. Um, okay. So, sorry, that went a little bit long, but that's okay. Um, okay, so next, um, you're gonna draw a historical event or tragedy. So one thing I love so much about maps is like, you can say like where something happened, like where you fell off your bike or where you had your first kiss or where a battle took place or a witch lives or whatever. So um, let's draw a historical event or tragedy in your town. Um, so we have about one more minute for your historical event or tragedy.
right. Okay. So um, let's see here. So we have two more things. So let's do um, the home of a local monster or adversary. So like I said, if you're doing like your own kind of nonfiction map, it could be like an evil neighbor or one of your enemies or frenemies. Um, if you're doing a more magical map, um, any kind of amazing monster that you want to draw, goblins, witches, gorgons, whatever. Um, so let's do that for about three minutes. And it's the home of the monster. You could draw the monster too, though, if you wanted to, of course. So about one more minute. Okay. All right. So for the last part, let's just take a minute and fill in your map. So I have a bunch of blank spots. <laughs> I fell behind. Um, but I think it's fun to fill in your map with like trees or forests or um, sometimes big land features can really help with that or houses or villages. So why don't we just take a minute um, to do that and then we can share each other's work.
All right, I'll just do a few more seconds. All right. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop sharing. Here's my Glomly Village, which needs some work, but um, thank you guys very much for the ideas. They were excellent. Um, okay, so I'm super excited to see your maps. Um, so if you want to share them, you can uh, use the Zoom. There's like a Zoom button to raise your hand and the team will spotlight you and then unmute you and then you can share your map. Um, and if you wouldn't mind saying your name and where you're from, I think that would be great to know. Um, and I'm super looking forward to seeing your maps. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Natalie and I'm coming from Sacramento, California. Awesome. Uh, so here is my map. The town is called Frog Hollow and it's uh, slightly based off of um, Humboldt County, California, where I used to live and a little bit of where I'm at now. Um, I've got the public library with a haunted clock tower and then I did marshlands, which I've totally gotten lost in a marshland before, so I wanted it to look a little confusing. Then I got Redwood Curtain, which is the name of the forest. And, oh yeah, and then Moon River and then Broken Bridge were my other kind of terrains, even though it's called Broken Bridge, but really it's fixed, so it's usable. <laughs> and then I've got a Cemetery on a Hill and some fairgrounds, which are not currently in use, but they're sectioned off. And then here's my apartment building, which is based off of where I currently am on the second story. And for um, an enemy, there was a real creepy ice cream man up in Humboldt. It was delicious ice cream, but for whatever reason, he was kind of terrifying. And there was a burger place next door, so you could get, get some fries and then uh, dip them in your ice cream. That is so awesome. I love every element of that. I love the broken bridge that actually works. And <laughs> Marshlands, that's so great. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi, my name is Ming. I'm from Malaysia. It's 8.41, 8.42 in the morning. Um, <laughs> I I drew this. I I'm really bad at names, so it, it's just a town right now. Um, so this is and and all the buildings are not a very good name either. This is some building. I don't know what it is. It's just some building. This is a water bird fountain because I like I like ducks, so I thought that would be quite cute. Um, that's a house. I would eventually like to move to a nice like terrace house in time, but that's not happening anytime soon. Um, and then for our historical space, this is called the Ayer Selangor dump because recently our government in, uh, in my hometown, our water supply is being polluted so much lately. We've had so many water cuts. And then right behind the, the dump is the monster's lair. So I'm like, oh, there's probably someone behind it. And true enough, um, historic, like we found out recently in the news that some millionaire dude was actually dumping waste into the water. So I was like, oh, okay. So that's the monster right there. But yeah, thank you for so much for this workshop. It's really been interesting. Oh, thank you so much. I love your drawing style. It's so lovely and elegant. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm, Hi. I'm from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. My, Hi. And, and this is my map. So, so this is what it's called. It's called Nick Dragon. Wow, that's awesome. Because I'm Nick. Yep. 
That's so great. <laughs> and this is an ice cream shop where you can get ice cream. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Just one more thing. And this is a, and this is a what? Um, I forget what it's water called. Water feature. A water uh, feature. Wow, that's a really fantastic map. Thank you for teaching. Thank you for teaching this. Thank you so much for participating. I love your map. There's even more too. <laughs> Could you unmute yourself? We're just having trouble hearing you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. So the Zoom was unmuted, but my mic wasn't. So, okay, it's Sunshine Village and it's a made up town. Um, this is supposed to be a like a, a solar center, like where instead of a power center, it's solar power. And then, um, I forgot what I drew. Then there's a, a lake. So there's a, I have mountains over here and there's like a river coming down through the, through the valley and it fills into a lake and then it goes on. So this is a house. There's a water tower, church, fountain. I'm not a great drawer, so this is my approximation. Um, this is actually the troll bridge that is here. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, a walking bridge as this is all like a walk for outside. So this is like a, a bigger size for the walking bridge. Um, it's under the bridge, that's the troll house. Um, this is the five pillars to commemorate uh, five people lost in an avalanche, so. That's so great, thank you. I feel like um, it's making me feel a little happier because it's been winter and I hate it. <laughs> and so. this, this is parking for, you can park and then get out and like hike. Nice, that's awesome. I love the troll bridge. Yeah, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh. Um, hi, I'm Maxwell Patojos from New York. This is the map I made. Small. So, um, this is a house on stilts to prevent flooding of the house when Adams River sometimes floods. Mm -hmm. um, down here, there's a little park. There's a power plant up here using experimental methods. Over here, we've got some mountains and a ravine down there. So prospectors mill over here who tries to find, and the person who lives there tries to find gold in the Adams River. Over here is where the Dynabomb struck and it awakened this monster in this cave over here who is not happy about it. <laughs> That's so great. Um, I especially love the monster, obviously, but also the house on stilts, I feel like is fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, hello. Um, Hi. My name is Val Rodriguez. I live in, I, re I live in Bergen County, New Jersey. Um, my cut. Um, I drew a map in my Photoshop, so do you mind if I could share the screen? Um, I don't know if they can do that. I think the tech team can answer that. I'm sorry, y'all. We're not set up to, to share um, with, with guests. I apologize. It's a settings thing with Zoom. Oh. Sorry, but thank you so much for making a map. If you, you know what, if you want to um, 
tag me here. I'm going to say this later, but I don't, I can't see my camera right now, but if you can, like, you can tag me and do Friday and do the hashtag Friday night comics. And I would love to see it. So if you just want to put it on Instagram and tag me, I would love to see it. Cool. Um, oh, cool. I, I could try to do that. Uh, what's your Instagram name? Um, I'll share it at the end. It's just Margaret Kimball with an underscore. Okay, is it gonna be in the chat? Yes, thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm joining you from Finland, and it's actually two a.m. here or three a.m. So. <laughs> wow, here, brave. But, uh, here's my map. It is called the Glamly Village as yours and there's a, some of the same stuff and some of different stuff. Here's the sewage plant, do I say that right? And uh, then here's the house of, I don't know, I just wanted to come up with some names and what came to mind was Halo and Limp. I don't know yet who they are. And uh, there's actually two tragedies happening over here. Here's a little bridge and here's a river and then one tragedy is that this is was a where Alien was la last spot, last scene, and then there's some cars burning on the parking lot. I don't know. All of this just popped into my mind when I was drawing, and then I had to kind of I was my, my map map was really full already, but I had to put in Alien's house, and this is the house of the, the mansion of Edward, who is the villain of the story. But there's obviously a lot of strings to tie here still oh and uh, my water water ah. feature yeah feature was the swamp here this is where i started like with the sewage and the swamp and so on so this is how far i got but i really got inspired to make like the place where i'm from like my childhood hoods from this so thank you so much it's been oh great thank you so much i love your map i love your um tragedy <laughs> multiple tragedies that's so fantastic Yes, it doesn't seem like a happy place. And I would love to kind of add more people kind of to it or houses. Yeah. Home. But yeah. yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. Hi. Hello. I'm Katia. I'm in Connecticut. So I was thrilled to see your, your map of Glastonbury. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I grew up in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks backwards to me I don't know if it is to you it looks right to me I can read okay. everything correctly mm -hmm. so there's the tv station of doom and the uh, mountains of disinformation which I thought probably should go with the tv station of doom the hero lives in the misery orphanage and there's even like the graves of some dead orphans this is where the evil Mr. Glumley from Glumley Village. That's his candy shop, aptly named Chokers. And this is True Crime Wood. No explanation needed. This is where the tragedy has happened. It's the Tunnel of Lost Friends. And this is a swamp in the middle. I love that. I, your drawing is so tight and great. And I love that it's like this kind of circular place. Um, and I also love that you, need, you have Mr. Glumley as the villain. That makes perfect sense. I wish yeah. I had thought of it. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, my name is Jane and I'm from Berkeley, California. And I got in, I don't know if you can see this, but I got inspired by that picture you did of the heart <laughs> as a man. Oh. So I made yeah. a brain <laughs> and I have here, uh, welcome to Glumley Village. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, this is my fountain of tears, which they said is in the frontal cortex. <laughs> um, the, um, I can't, my, uh, the terrain is sort of like the homunculus of the brain where there's a, the leg, the mm -hmm. hand, mount hand and mount face. <laughs> and uh, my tragedy was uh, a cemetery here of five people that passed away this past year. 
and the institution is a movie house that's featuring Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> And the monster is the dragon. <laughs> so, uh, and the house is actually my house where I live. So, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love the brain shape and the sort of orientation to like the areas of the brain. That's so yeah. great. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so, I think we have time for three more. Um, yeah. So, Rosalind, I see you here. Hi. I'm Rosalind. And I'm in Austin. Um, I also went with Glumley Village. And the first thing that came to mind when I thought of the word Glumley was when I was unemployed a bit last year. Um, all of the print looks backwards to me, so I hope you can read it. It looks right to me, yeah. Oh, great. Okay, so I lived on here, or I did. It's This is where I was living. Um, in the bottom of the wet well of ennui. And I got there by falling off the career corridor where the road ends. Cool. The institution is the Museum of Injuries and Insults, which gives tours daily. Um, up here is the Marsh of Malays, where nothing good is going on. Um, the Bossy Bosses McMansion Estates is like in a, they're separated. They live somewhere else. Um, and then uh, for different kinds of terrain, I just had like how to get out of Glumley Village with sort of the flats of existential crisis and then the Hope Hills and then the Change Mountains. Um, and my little people are kind of down here like, ah, it's really hard to get out of there. Anyway, this was really fun and very therapeutic to draw. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. I loved how um, your whole map <laughs> is gloomy, Glumley Village, and like, <laughs> kind of depressing, but in a very yeah. joyful way. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're on. You're on. You're on. Um. Uh. So mine is from. Mine is from a video game that's coming out this month, and I'm really excited for it. It's actually a horror video game. Um. And so, so this is the school. Um. These two main characters. Uh. The one in the middle that's getting like, like hurt by the others is that one of the main characters and then this one over here is another main character and then this is the signal tower this is the pale city and this is the hospital this is the grocery store these are like buildings and then this is like the beach that was like for my water thing and um so this is the school if i can already say that so yeah that's so awesome and what did you say your name was Oh, I think you're on mute. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Hi. My name is uh, Liddy and I'm from Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. And I'm inviting people to uh, come for the thriller at the Asylum Villa. And so <laughs> this is my asylum uh, river. Uh, I've got a mountain, a quick, I've got quicksand, I've got a meadow, a mountain, I've got two sisters who escaped from the asylum, and I've got a murder, and lots of ducks. That is really great. And, um, and a monster on the side. Oh, a monster, yeah. That's um, a very diverse place. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Thank you. Okay, thank you all so much for doing this. This has been such a joy. Um, I'll just quickly say, if you didn't get to share, um, please like, this is my Instagram handle. This is Believer's um, handle, and this is their hashtag. So just like tag me and tag Believer and do this hashtag. And I would love to see these maps. They're just like so fantastic and imaginative. Um, so here's this. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for spending your Friday night with me. It was like such a delight. And I again, I love seeing your maps. Um, and I hope you'll come back for a future Friday Night Comics. And thanks again to The Believer for hosting. It was really fun. Thank you. 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 It was a pretty That's good opportunity. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.